Hello and welcome back to another gameplay tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make that intro that you just saw from my video in GIMP and Windows Movie Maker 6.0. I will uh, 6.0 is by far the best Windows Movie Maker there is, and it's free for all Windows users. I'm not sure if there's a uh, installer for XP, but I know there is for Windows 7 and obviously for Vista because that's what it comes with. If I can find one for XP, I will put the link in the description so you can get it too. Uh, so, to start off, just open up uh, GIMP, create a new file, uh, any size really will do, depending on your text size, which I will explain later. So, just get it open. Uh, you want a black foreground and just fill it in with black. You can do that when you're making the new layer, but I'll just do it right now. So, we got this black right here. Um, depending on the background in your Windows Movie Maker, you might want to change that, but just for now, we'll be using black. Now, you want to take your text... And I'm just going to be typing uh, GIMP just for the sake. It's really short. Uh, you don't want it the same color. You can make it uh, maybe a blue. There. You don't want to put any real fancy effects on it like 3D because as it's spinning, 3D would have to change along with it and that would kind of mess it up. So uh, what we're going to do is just give it a little bit of an outline and some gloss effect. So we don't want it so big. Or actually, yeah, we do. A little bigger. Uh, just make sure. Oops. Make sure it's as big as it can fit with a little bit to spare. So that looks pretty good right there. Doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but if you want to, go to Layer, Auto Crop Layer, and then with this oops, with this layer selected, go to the Align tool, click on it, align it center perfectly, and there, it's centered. So then you go to layer and layer to image size and it makes it a single layer again. So what we do is alpha to selection, which selects the text. Go to select, grow by, depending on your uh, text size, I just did four because this uh, gives it a nice outline there. Then above this background layer, create a new file. And then get a gray uh, foreground color just a, in between uh, the HTML notation for this one is 90 90 90 not 90 90 okay so on this new layer just fill it in and select none and there you have a nice uh, outline for your text now I'm just gonna give it a little more uh, uh, I don't know just some gloss I guess so just alpha to selection this text again take your circle select tool or actually you can even use your square select tool which I will just for uh, it's a little easier. Uh, intersect with current selection is what you want to pick. And depending on which, uh, if you want this to be your main, then you can keep that. But I'm, which I do. So I'm going to be highlighting the bottom half of this. Take a darker blue. Then go to the gradients, foreground to background. And what that, uh, rectangle tool did with the intersecting it intersected with the alpha to selection and just made it like that so you have only this bottom part selected so then just take your gradient hold the control key or I believe it's command for Mac and then it puts it at five degree angle so it's easier to go and then just stroke down and then go select none and that kind of looks like a pretty good gloss effect right there you could use the uh, uh, ellipsis select tool and then do it that way it gives it a little rounded but that's pretty good for right now now you want to merge visible layers and there's the first part so now create a new layer fill it with black actually you don't want to fill it with black right yet you want to get the text down take your text tool with the same font the same size let's just type in presents close Get that right over there. As you can see, it's much too big. So we want it the same width, so we could lower this, make uh, the text a little bit closer together. We could also, uh, uh, you could just mess around with these. Mainly the bottom one's the one you're going to want to worry about. Oops. It's uh, the space in between each letter. But you can just lower the 
how uh lower the text size right there we go then just move it centered uh with this um the gimp is short text and the presents is a longer text it's not going to be perfect if you get something with uh eight letters and eight letters it'll be pretty good because it'll blend pretty good with each other so now on this presents just alpha selection we're going to be doing the same thing we did last time so just create a new layer uh on this new layer just go select grow by four pixels might be a little too big you could uh, adjust that I'm just gonna keep it with four now get the same gray used before fill it in go to select none now off the selection this presents again this text oh and I forgot to color it oh uh, you want this lighter blue color which the an HTML notation for this I'm sorry is 003 e9b for the lighter blue just fill that in like that and then with this rectangle select tool still should be on intersect and just for right now, just uh, get the darker blue, which is 002152 for the HTML notation. Uh, just get that rectangle tool in there. Now get the gradient tool, stroke it down, and then select none. And there we got both text layers um, all glossed in. Now, if we want to make this GIMP. Uh, layer a little bit uh, same size just take the scale tool and we probably should have done this before we merged the layers together but oh well scale it down to the about the right size just a little bit more scale and now we can just create a new layer under this one and then fill it with just black and there we go uh, now I don't know what that layer is for but we can merge these, oh, that, I was going to use that as the background, which I will right now. Fill it with black, merge these down, so then you have your presents in one, and then your GIMP in the other. So now I'll create a new file, same size. Now, on this one, you want to copy the presents layer, then paste it on this one. Just press paste the new layer, and then delete the background, that should be fun. And then they should be pretty well. Now we just uh, need to delete the presents on this one. So then we have GIMP and we have presents.